Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I want to show you some of the trees I've picked up at nurseries over the last couple of weeks. Things that I've been wanting, things that I've heard uh, some people out there talking about, and things that I'd like to try. So the first one I'm going to introduce you to is two blueberry bushes, Vaccinium corumbosum, both of them. I got one at Lowe's and I got uh, for two dollars cheaper than the one that I got at Home Depot. Uh, and I'm going to show them both to you. They're very similar. One has quite a bit of uh, crop on it, so I don't want to cut anything off until that's done uh, producing blueberries. And the other one doesn't have much in the way of uh, either flowers or anything else. But it does have a nice trunk and I'm going to show it to you right now. They're both quite large. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see. You can tell from my hand, uh, it goes to about, uh, just about where the top of the screen is. And you can see all the lovely blueberries on it. Clump there, got a clump happening here, a clump happening here, here, and there. This is a nice tree. I am uh, anxious to cut it back, but I don't, uh, I'm not feeling comfortable about this being the right time of year for that. There's some stuff on here that I'm obviously going to cut away. Um, but like I say, I'm not going to do anything until after it finishes blooming. So if I can move some of this foliage out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. You might be able to see the lovely trunk. It has uh, kind of a wide base. I'm sure there's uh, a lot more going on below this soil line. A nice branch coming off to the left. <coughs> I'm sorry, to the right. A nice branch going straight up. And one that goes off to the side with a lot of taper. <coughs> Excuse me. The pollen today is just unbelievable. So it's a very vigorous tree. And it's got some nice things happening on it. So I'm hoping if I study up on blueberry bonsai, I might be able to make something out of this tree. Okay, the next one. This is the Home Depot one. Like I said, this didn't have much in the way of flowers on it. It's got a couple at the top right now that aren't even open, but really not much. And this one was $2 more expensive. But if you're looking down below, you can see the nice start of some good bonsai action. I mean, this comes up and divides here, so I probably would make my first cuts there. Um, I'm really gonna try and evaluate this carefully. And when I get into finally doing the trimming, I might wanna make this a community effort. I would like to get people's input on what I should, what they think I should be doing here. Of course, you know, in the end, I'm the one that's going to have the tool in my hand. So, you know, I'm the one who's going to be uh, making the cuts. So if you are going to make suggestions, maybe pinpoint a moment where you've seen it on the video, like, you know, five minutes and 10 seconds in, you pointed to a branch. You would take this inner one off or whatever. But there is some really wonderful possibilities on both of these trees. Okay, that's my blueberry. Let me go get the next tree to show you. Okay, this beautiful specimen is a burning bush. And I want you to take note of this trunk. Anyone who has 
seen me at all knows that I love formal upright trees. This one, I can tell, has some flare happening down at the base. A nice trunk with a little bit of movement in it. It branches pretty low down. So I'm going to make this, this burning bush, this uh, Euonymus compactus, winged Euonymus. I'm going to make this into a formal upright. It's a beautiful tree. Needs a little water right now, it looks like. It's got some nice bark on it. It's in flower right now. The flowers appear to be done because they're dropping off. And this should have that beautiful bright red color. In the fall, I'm looking forward to Reducing this leaf size down to something like I'm pointing at right now. This is going to be a fun tree to work on. Now, I saw Bald Yeti's video just the other day. Uh, might have been yesterday uh, that he did some time ago, a few months back. Um, where uh, in the comments to it, I think uh, Matt Brennan commented that uh, they only have one flush, so I do not want to do any pruning now uh, because uh, I might end up with some pretty bald branches. Uh, but this is the tree I want to work on in the fall. This is one of the trees I want to work on in the fall. I'm not going to do any root work now. Uh, this year, I will do my first pruning and branch selection in the fall and then in the spring at the right time I'll pop this up and see what's going on down below all right my invasive species harmful to the environment I will not let this escape the lab I promise and this was 26.98 uh, which I thought was pretty good for a tree this size. I hope you can get a sense of the size. All right, let me go get the last tree. And the last tree I want to show you is a Cotoneaster. A beautiful one. The one that I worked on previously was one that kind of grows along the ground, the horizontalis. This, I'm not sure what the variety is, but it seems to be more tree-like. Still has some very bendy branches, and it's been pruned. It's been pruned to be upright, because you can see the old pruning marks and it's going upright from there. So it was pruned to be coming this way, which I think is fortunate for me because I like upright trees. And this one will be a low branch tree, kind of like a uh, an apple maybe, or an orchard type tree. I love the way these branches split but I don't know what I'm gonna keep yet. So I'm gonna give it a slow turn and yell out suggestions if you have them. <laughs> I see some things, you know, branches heading back toward the inside of the tree that I know will need to come out. But if I want to make this an orchard type tree, I got to see what kind of back budding I get when I start pruning branches back. So I might start, I might start in the crown, just going back a little and see what kind of back buds I get. 
Or if you guys know how to deal with Catoni Asters right off the bat, yell out some suggestions. I'm not above taking advice. I'm gonna zoom in a little on the lower trunks. So I want you to be able to see the, I don't know if you can, the depth of the, of the trunk. There may be quite a bit more of this down there. So who really knows? But in terms of an upper canopy on a tree like this, What should I make my primary branches? Because I want to take this down to primary. And if there's a good secondary there already, terrific. Like maybe this over here. Well, let's see what this tree gives us. Right now it's giving me some really pretty flowers too. The other day when this was full of flowers, it was just beautiful. So if I can keep some, get some foliage pads that have these flowers at the top, I'll be in heaven. All right. That's my Catoni Aster. That's tree number three, actually number four, if you count the two blueberries. Thank you so much for keeping me company in my backyard. <laughs>